Wow. One local researcher is using those precious dollars to build hope. Exactly, Karen and Jason. You know, we had a chance to go inside the lab of Dr. Lonnie Shea at the University of Michigan. His team is using concepts in engineering to attack the problems that are created by type 1 diabetes, and they are going at it from multiple angles. There is this whole field that has to develop to say, how do we take what we understand about the disease and how it develops, how do we actually translate that into a therapy? And so this is sort of the problem-solving approach that I think is just natural for engineers. Dr. Lonnie Shea and his team are using what they know about type 1 diabetes to re-engineer how we approach it. One of their projects, building microscopic scaffolds to hold transplanted islet cells. Those are clusters of cells in the pancreas that normally make insulin, but are destroyed in people with type 1 diabetes. We can essentially put the aspects of in the scaffold that are normally present in the pancreas themselves to help those cells feel like it's home and that allows them to sort of engraft and function better. They're also testing something called nanoparticles to help retrain the immune system not to attack those insulin producing cells and stem cells to help replace the cells that are lost. The potential impact extends far beyond diabetes. If you talk about type 1 diabetes being an autoimmune disease, um, there are literally hundreds of types of autoimmune diseases. And if we understand how to prevent that autoimmune disease, well, then that's going to actually lead to treatments in other areas as well. Shea says he is incredibly optimistic about the future of type 1 diabetes research. We want to treat the people that have diabetes today. But I think the idea of being able to prevent diabetes from developing in the first place, that's really the, you know, the moonshot that we're, we're shooting for. Now, the JDRF not only helps fund this type of research, it also helps scientists navigate through the FDA process, and it offers expertise in starting clinical trials.